good now it's Daryl as a service hey I've uh, had a question on one of my older videos I recorded about a year ago showing people how to use the focused inbox and Outlook for mobile. A focused inbox, I love it. It means that it focuses in on the, the messages that are important to me and I can train it so that I can um, get into the, the things that uh, need my attention right now and then I can deal with other things later. So I had a question um, asked uh, from um, Christine C and um, uh, she wants to know if you can set up the focused mailbox so that it can create or play a, a special ringtone when you're not in the app. And uh, yeah, Christine, this is possible. Um, however, we'll, ha we'll have to go through a couple of choices just to show you uh, the implications here. Um, so we have uh, Outlook Mobile and we'll go into our settings and take a look there so in the uh, second half of the screen after you've looked at email accounts and storage accounts you've got notifications uh, and these notifications can be set up per mailbox I'm connected to my personal mailbox and also to my work mailbox well we're working with the personal mailbox today that's the top one so I usually have mine set to none because um, in my personal life I email I answer email when I um, sit down and get around to it. I don't respond to email um, immediately. I don't use it as a way for people to, to get hold of me straight away. So I usually have it set to none. And when it's set to none, it means that I'm not going to um, see any notifications. I'm also not going to hear any noises um, for, for that. But um, in this case, Christine, what you would do is you'd set this to focused inbox. Now this means, first of all, you're turning on notifications for any mail that drops into the focused inbox. Uh, and secondly, with this turned on, um, then you can also set your new sound for your sound for new email. Now this might be set to the default that we have, um, but I recommend changing it to something a little brighter and different that can be heard over the, the din or the street noise of, of things uh, um, in the background uh, and this means that whenever a new message comes in to the focused inbox it's going to play that sound. Now I have to trust me, um, I can't demonstrate this because of the equipment I'm using to capture my screen uh, but when I did do it yesterday um, we uh, definitely got some messages coming through for this one here where I sent from my personal mail or rather from my work account to my personal email and that definitely made the chirp noise so that was that was pretty cool. Uh, going back into those choices though too, uh, one thing that you might want to consider um, is like I have for work, I've set this to favorite people. Now note I don't have a sound that is there for the notification but what I do have um, is I will see a notification, a, a drop down notification maybe if I've set up my phone to to use, so we'll go through those settings here too. Go to notifications. Um, we'll go through to notifications, and we'll drop into uh, Outlook. Here we go. I've set mine to to banners and to sounds, so at least I can hear that uh, calendar notification. But I also get that banner come down there. And so for work, that means that um, I am getting a, a notification drop down from favorite people, but I have not set a sound for new mail coming in, so I don't hear a sound for when it comes through for favorite people. So you've got a few choices there, Christine, and yes, it does definitely get covered off um, for focused inbox, uh, although just remember, when you do make that choice, it applies to any email that comes into that view. And you will hear it. Even if you're not in the app, you should hear those noises um, play through. So that was, uh, that was a quick question. Do continue to ask questions on videos. I do intend to record more content. Um, but you will also find me um, uh, on Twitter at... Daryl as a service, my um, YouTube channel is Modern Workplace Scenarios now, and you'll also find my blog site there too for the content that I'm creating. Thanks for tuning in.